Hello, I've decided to share a little butchering with you today. Uh, this is some basic butchering techniques. Everybody should know this stuff. Uh, first thing is selecting the meat. Uh, I walked through the store and I saw about eight or ten of these and I'm like, wow, looks pretty good. And you got to go by what you see and the large muscle. Uh, I selected this one out of like ten other ones after looking at each piece. Uh, you want a nice marbling, a little bit of fat specks in here. You don't want a lot of uh, chunks of fat or silver skin. The butcher should have removed this for you, depending on the price you pay. Uh, you do want something like this. This is Angus, and this is USDA Choice. Uh, prime is even better. It's going to be very hard for you to find Prime, unless you're... Uh, you know, in a restaurant or something like that. But anyway, uh, this is really good. Now there's a few problems with it. I'm going to show you uh, what those are as we move on. First thing is the price. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where I got it. It doesn't matter. You can get this at your local butcher shop or supplier, or you could order it. Uh, this is $3.27 a pound. <clears throat> For this type of uh, inside round or uh, beef round sirloin, this goes by many different names. Top roast, top round. This is actually the large muscle of an inside round of beef. Uh, a steer has two of these. So this is a pretty special cut. This has the same flavor as uh, beef tenderloin or New York strip steak if you cook it properly. So I'm going to get into that later. But $3.27 a pound, that's fine. This is $36.69 bucks, $36 for this piece. But the problem is there's too much liquid in here, okay? Too much uh, blood and juice in here. So you've got to drain this over the sink, and that changes your price. It's not truly $3.27 a pound. It's closer to maybe $3.75 a pound because of the extra uh, liquid in there. But that's okay. Still a good deal. I'll be back. Okay, and here's the same piece of meat after I've removed the packaging and some of the blood. Good idea to use a small towel like this, pat all the blood off of there that you can. Uh, you don't want the blood, you just want the meat. Uh, it's a beautiful piece, it's a really nice muscle, very large, not a lot of silver skin on there. Okay, I highly suggest if you don't own these, these are stainless steel hotel pans, that you get yourself at least one hotel pan. You can also call them chafing pans or whatever, we call them hotel pans. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is perfect for moving your meat, roasting your meat. We actually use these with racks lined up in them. We use these to make jerky. Seven. Uh, they're in stock at your sponsor. And the balance and the feel is amazing. This knife, by the way, all the globals, it's a pure stainless steel. The little dots keep your hand from slipping, and it's full of sand. It's balanced full of sand so that every single knife, right about there, this is the, this is the heavy version, but right about there, you can balance the knife on your finger. Every single knife in this series is like that. So this knife is a cut above the rest. There's the three knives. Hope you like the review. Visit the sponsor. Watch the and, other uh, videos. Have a beautiful day.